Hey everybody, welcome back to camp. It's Sunday morning. We've been here since yesterday, early, late morning, early afternoon. And we kind of hung out with Ju Julie and Rustam and now the four of us are going to start setting down our trailers for the season. It's mid-October and we're expecting in this area this week, three days of snow and Wednesday will be a low of minus five. So we need to get all of our uh, plumbing blown out so that there's no water residue left in there so that we don't break any pumps or any joints in our piping, anything like that. So Rob's just out in the back of the trailer now. He's emptying out the black tank and I'm going around and I'm doing all the windows. The inside of the windows are full of condensation. I don't know if you can see, but because we've been running propane inside, um, just, you know, breathing, <laughs> um, our windows get lots of condensation. So I'm going to go around with some Windex and I'm going to wipe those down and that will help prevent any mold from occurring over the winter. And we're just going to give the trailer a good cleaning. I think we'll be back next weekend. It's going to take two or three trips to actually close the trailer because we have so much stuff to put away and not all of it we can put away now because we still need things like power and whatnot for the next couple trips out to get stuff put away. Washing or? Uh, yeah, I think so. I can let the water go? Sure, go ahead. Hot water's off, right? Yeah, I turned the hot water off. The water pump is off. Does that matter? No. Okay. Now that he's opened all of the valves outside, gotten rid of the, all the black tank water, all the green tank water, now it's time to blow the pipes out with the air compressor. I had to go newfie on the uh, plug. On what plug? Hot water tank plug. Why? I used the flathead screwdriver with the with the axe to turn the nut around. Oh, that's what that big one was. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So now what? We're gonna blow it out, right? Yeah, it's still draining though. Oh, is it still? Okay. It takes a while. I don't know how they haven't ran into propane over there. <laughs> Maybe their trailer's more efficient than ours. Okay. It's time for a new one. What is it? So this is this is meant this is a sacrificial anode. Oh, for the. So you said your tank rusting. This will a lot of people. This will rust off, and they'll just use this plug. But no, buy another one of these because they'll save your tank. And these things are like eleven hundred bucks. Yeah. So before we go next year, we'll. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. It's pretty much gone, eh? Yeah. Wow. Trailer's three years old? Yeah, crazy, eh? That did its job. It did its job. Because that would have been your tank, right? Right. And how much one of those cost? About 20 bucks, probably? Uh, <coughs> yeah, probably that. I'm going to leave that open all year and this here. I'll let it all drain out and then I'll put the plug back in just a little bit so I can pressurize and get mm -hmm. all the last bit of air out of the lines, but I'll put this here for now so I don't step on it. Yeah, Tons of leaves up there. We need to clean them off so that they don't rot in the snow. 
like a big layer. You want me to pull it in a little bit? Pull it down. Okay. like the table. <laughs> you don't like the awning, Chewy? Don't like the awning moving? Oh yes, typical doodle spot. Typical doodle spot. Instead of putting chemicals in the tanks and the lines, we flush the water out, remaining water out, with compressed air. So that's what Rob's doing right now. Okay, so we'll start with the tub. Yes, yeah, so everything closed other than the tub. Okay. Then the toilet, then the sink, then the kitchen. Sorry, outdoor shower, then kitchen. The outdoor then shower's the on too. After the bathroom is the outdoor kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So it's going to be loud in here for a bit because we're going to put all the cats clothes well, all Turn it off for a second, let the air compress inside and then I will open up the taps again. See all the water? Close it, let it build up again. Onto the sink. Water now. Go outside. Doesn't seem to be anything coming out of here. Up. 
back inside. Kitchen. Nothing coming out of there. So we're done with blowing out all the lines and we're pretty much done for today, I think. I know this is not our typical adventure um, weekend, but this is what we have to do as uh, owners of, of a rig. Um, so we had COVID the last, going through our house the last three to four weeks now. Rob and I had it for the last two weeks. Uh, him first and then me after that so we had to cancel our Killarney trip not sure if we're going to tackle that or leave that for next year so that's why you guys haven't seen a video on the Killarney trip because we all got sick and something had to give <laughs> it was couch time so I think we're done for this weekend aren't we and it's going to help rust them out. Yeah, we're going to go over and help rust them and Julie close up theirs. They have a, a long trip, so we, weren't, we won't bother to, to film that. It's basically the same thing as this, just over there. We really should have bought a bigger trailer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really helps us grow our channel and we appreciate everyone watching. Have a great week everyone and we will see you next Sunday for another adventure.